Hi, I'm Ray Sievert with Tracy Technologies. And what I'd like to do today is make wavefront aberrometry simple. I had a famous ophthalmic surgeon tell me he didn't get wavefront, which surprised me because he uses the eye trace very effectively. What he did is he understood where visual symptoms and complaints came from. That's what I'd like to do. What is the cause of certain visual complaints? Blur and double vision always comes from coma. So if a patient complains of either blur or double vision, they have coma. Spherical aberration causes glare and halo, sometimes causes night myopia. So if a patient complains of these symptoms, the cause is spherical aberration. Finally, the third major wavefront uh, aberration I'd like to discuss is trefoil. Patients who have trefoil uh, experience comet tails and starburst. So what you can learn from this is if a patient presents with a certain symptom, they have a cause, and you can understand where the cause is located. For example, if you have coma, it could be from the cornea or it could be from the lens. The eye trace will show you where the coma is. So if you have blur and double vision and you know it's coming from the, the cornea, it could be a combination of either a decentered ablation, it could be keratoconus, it could be other things. If it's from the lens, coma could be from a misaligned toric lens, decentered, or it could be from a tilted lens. Spherical aberration, which causes night myopia and other things, could be from a combination of either the cornea or the internal optics. If spherical aberration is on the cornea, sometimes it's from too small of an ablation. Sometimes it's from the knee of an RK. Uh, sometimes it could be internal, in which case the spherical aberration or night myopia could be from a dysfunctional lens syndrome, or it could be from a lenticonus. Finally, trefoil. If you have starburst and it's from the cornea, chances are good it's from an RK or something of that nature. If you have it internally, it could be a peripheral distortion, perhaps a decentered rexus or something else. The point is, wavefront does not have to be complicated. If you have coma, you have blur double vision. If that's what a patient's complaining about, go find where the coma is. Is it on the cornea or is it in the lens? The eye trace will help you find it and then you can figure out how to fix it. Hopefully this will make your understanding of wavefront a lot easier.